My name is Sabella. I am just like every other girl in the neighborhood. I love good things. I need a man who can take care of my needs. And I have only one source of where I am hunting for that man. And I am so sure I will get the man. The source is social media. What's all this you want by sending me in the same place? Hmm? Just imagine. Did they think I would accept this request? Oh my god. I'm looking for a rich, responsible man. I'll take care of you, not that it's as well to go. I beg, let me get up in this. I'm talking to you. My daughter, yes. your husband may be a very simple minded man, but that does not mean that you should be insensitive of the fact that he is married to you. And as a couple, you people need a child. Not just a child, but children. Mm. Hmm? Name? Mom, mm -hmm. my husband understands the fact that I'm an actress. Mm. He also knows that I don't need to go out of shape, especially now that I'm one of the most sought after actresses. Mm -hmm. Moreover, we've had this conversation before and he's cool with it. So we'll have children when we are ready. Mm -hmm. But for now, we are not. Mm -hmm. You just said it and it looks simple and beautiful in your mouth. Since you are not ready to, to have children, why did you get married in the first place? Mm -hmm. No, ask me, why did you get married? Do you not know that children are the most important part of marriage? Mm. Or are you sterile? You cannot get pregnant? Sorry, listen. It is not like I am trying to get you embarrassed. But I want you to know that childbearing is the most important part of every marriage. Mm. And you need to give birth to a child in that man's house to consolidate your stay in his house. Mm. Yes. Listen, I am a man, so I know how these things work. I don't understand why you're talking like this, so I don't. Mom, you're also talking as if you don't know that I was once pregnant and I had a miscarriage. The question is, why should you have a miscarriage? Why? You had a miscarriage because you were under stress. And the hotness temperature of your womb was not conducive enough to keep the baby. My daughter will not deceive you. No matter how important your career or whatever you are doing there is to you, marriage, family, come first. You must try and have a child for your husband. It is very important to that is the only way you can safeguard your marriage as a woman. No other way. Mom, you sound as if it's all my fault. It is not your fault. Whose fault? Mm. Joanna. Mm -hmm. Do you know that during the COVID, every other institution shut down? The only institution that did not shut down was institution of marriage. That is to show you how important marriage is. Ne? You have to safeguard your marriage by having children. Make babies for your husband. Make babies. Even for yourself. It is important. You're a woman. Mm. Huh? Take care of your home. Ne? Take care of your husband. And also safeguard your your marriage again by having children. It is important, my daughter. Please look into this. I can't deceive you now. You are my daughter. Yeah? I've 
heard all you've said. Listen to me. In as much as making baby is very important, you should also know that you should start making babies now that you are young. Uh -huh. If not, the shine will go off you. Okay, you got what? to be acting up negative. Your mood swings so easily. That is not fair. I am noticing what you're saying, but I don't have anything to say. I know I get stressed easily. You see, all these stress and anxieties as a result of your long-term sexual denial. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect when my wife is always traveling? This, her trip this time will last for two months. Two months. And um, she's always talking about Movie this, movie that. That doesn't even care about me. But it's fine. You see? That is it. That is it. Two months. Two months without sex. And of course, the effect is your sexual dysfunction. Mood swing this. Stress that. And, and, and anxieties. So, what do you want me to do? Go to social media. Look for one of these uh, hookup sites, like um, Friends Meet Crime. Just look for a lady and just help yourself. <laughs> Come on, feed man. Honestly, I can't resort having anything to do with any woman that is not my woman. I, I see it as immoral. And beckering on people due to your mood swing is morally justified? Hey, Collins. That's all for now. I have to go home, I'm hungry. Okay. I'll see you later in the day. Yeah, welcome guys, welcome guys. It's been a while. Yeah, big Collins here. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the likes. I appreciate it. Um, Chinenye, how are you doing, Chinenye? Long time. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Oh, this? Yeah, I got it from Dubai. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright? Yeah, thank you so much. Hey Jenny, Jenny, how you doing, Jenny? Oh my god, are you serious? Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you're beautiful too. You're very beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Oh guys, thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys for the likes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you guys. Yeah, bro, check this out. Look at these beautiful ladies. I think you should choose one out of them. Collins, what is it now? Eh? What's your problem? Bro, I'm just, just trying to help a brother. I do not need your help. Sir, food is ready. Uh, should I serve it? Go ahead. I'm hungry. Good gracious God. Who is she? 
The new help my wife employed before she traveled. That girl is beautiful. <laughs> and uh, she can also serve multipurpose. You know what I mean? What are you saying? Well, you can throw your passes at her and I'm sure she will oblige. Huh? So that she can quench your burning fire, sexual fire burning within your groin. Collins, you're perfect also. Bro, can you just spare me this, your moral this, your immoral that? Can you? See, bro, post cancer is real. You better beware. The truth is bitter. So, does she, does she live here? Well, she comes from home. Though sometimes, sleeps here. Raimo, you need a woman. You need a woman to quench your sexual appetite. You need a woman, Primo. Look, your wife is always not around. And guess what? Do you think she's just working over there? Just work? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, but you know, sometimes, who knows? And then you're here, acting up, Reverend Father. Primo, Primo, you have to be a man. Collins, change the subject. Let's go to the dining. Right. So the dining. Theodora, Theodora, please, I need a. Um, It's been over 30 minutes since you got back. What are you still doing here? Eh? Are you not supposed to come into the bedroom and attack to your wife? See, don't think I don't know what you're doing, oh. Of course I saw it with my eyes. You are deleting your chat between you and your couple, Bessabi. Keep deleting, no. Better leave no trace, oh. If I lay my hands on any of them, I will so pounce on them. I will so squeeze life out of them. You already know what I can do now, don't you? You know what I can do. What is wrong with you? I mean, what, what, what exactly is your problem? Asking what I'm doing in my own house. In my house. 
in your I, house. I, I, are, you, are you okay? Don't insult me, oh. Because this is my house as well. In your house, in your house. Is it not my house? Keep deleting. Be deleting chats. Keep deleting. You will see. Nonsense. This is the fourth time I am batting this night. Yet this Sergio Orge does not want to leave me. What am I going to do? This whole thing has started causing me a sleepless night. And why are you taking tea by this time of the night? Have you not had dinner? I've had dinner. It was that um, my tummy was biting me. I just uh, instead of eating rice or any other thing, let me just um, take bread and tea. That will not make me, you know. Why have you allowed the spirit of gluttony, the demonic spirit of gluttony, take over you? I mean, take a look at your size. Look, just, 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 just look at yourself. At your age, you're still very young. Just, just. I don't understand. What is wrong with my size? This is a normal woman now, normal African woman. This is size. Moreover, I, I don't eat because uh, for me not for me to be fat. Oh. No, it's not food that makes me fat. It's postpartum that is making me fat. You know now, but you know this thing now. You, 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 are, you are talking as if you're, you, you're the only nursing mother around this neighborhood. Yes, now. Who is, nurse, who is the nursing mother in this area? It's not me. Ah! Uh -huh. Give me that. Ah! Uh -huh. What are you doing? Oga, okay. see! Don't try it, though! You know I don't joke with my food. No, don't try it! What is this? Give me my bread, though! Give me my bread! What is this? See! See, Oga! Okay. You didn't go home today? Yes, sir. We don't have lights in our street, so I decided to stay back and check my phone. But honestly, this girl is beautiful. She has got nice curves. I just wish I could get her to be on my bed. Is there something I can do for you, sir? Nothing, actually. She's just a cock teaser. Mm. Are you alright, sir? Sir. Sir, I hope you. Ah! Oh my God! 
Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just talk. Um, help me get more than hypo and uh, you know. Sorry, I'll get something out of you. Okay, sir. Look at this girl, she looks quite pretty, you know. Oh, let me try my luck. Wow, I like what I'm saying. All right, let me send her a message immediately. Hi. How you doing? You look so beautiful. Can we be friends? Oh, my name is uh, Brymo. May I have the honor to know your name? <laughs> See this new guy that sends me friend request. Very fine guy. And guess what? what? The guy looks rich. Ah. And guess the final guessing. <laughs> See, the guy came to my gym and started professing love with me. As I'm still watching these pictures, I'm telling you. See, babes, if this one work out, the final boss stop up. I know mean, it's <laughs> anywhere. Ah. Serious. I'm telling you. Ah, ah, babe, you look you. <laughs> Hey, what's keeping you now? What's keeping you from going to roll with this guy? This is gold, man. See, wait now. You have to take things gradually. I don't want to be desperate and act classless. So I'm not starting. No, I have to pack up myself. Slay, oh, baby. My Slay. name is Isabella. Yeah. And my father is um, Slay, but what you be here, dear I know you used to be the president. Wait, can you follow my chat face? Chat, 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 chat. Yes, do you? Mm -mm. Can you can it man picking fun. Infidelity is not a good thing because its negative effects in marriages cannot be overemphasized. But I am a man whose blood flow testifies his turbidity. There is no point wasting time. Just book an appointment with this girl, and if she honors it, you take advantage. Calm your nerves. Collins, you don't get it, do you? I am a married man. 
And this is against my marital vow. You know it. The same marriage that constant distance has already done you part, even before then. Or the same marriage that constant business engagement has made it uneasy for your wife to get pregnant. Hey, you are beginning to sound like my mother. I don't like it. I am not complaining because my wife has not been able to give me kids. Moreover, she is not approaching menopause anytime soon. But your mother is complaining. Isn't she? And guess what? Very soon, everyone else, I mean everybody, will begin to complain too. Isabella, she's calling. Okay. Now, I want you to relax. Hmm? Calm your nerves. Huh? Be a good boy. Hi. Hello, sweet. How are you? Okay, fine. Thank you. Why did you call me since morning? Oh. I am sorry, darling. I I have been a little bit too busy. I was keeping my baby busy. Mm -hmm. Just based on that. Please, nobody should stress me. Oh, sure. Hello, uh, yes. Um, I'm here. You know I am beginning to really love you, right? Oh. I love you too, baby. Even more. When are you coming, girl? Baby, anytime you want me to come out, come. What about you come tomorrow? I'm not walking tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's fine. See you tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to see you. Bye. Now, the slaughter lamp is ready for the sacrifice. What next? <laughs> well, you have to make sure your maid does not come to work tomorrow. Else, she will mess this up for you. Very important. What about my gift man? 
His job is just to open and close the gate. What business does he have on the inside? <laughs> Collins. Collins, you are such a bad influence. Brian, I'm not worse than you. Hmm? Besides, a lot of married men in his successful marriages, they still have one side chick or the other. Hey. Collins, do not talk to me about baby mama. You and I know I love my wife so much. Sorry, you. Sorry, you. But then, the more side chick you keep, the more value you place in your matrimonial home. Be the alpha male, man. Come on. Be a boy. Your daughter. Nothing, sir. When you get home today, I need you to rest. Do not come to work until you hear from me. Uncle, what did I do? Hey, what did I do now? Did I do anything wrong? Hey, please don't suck me, sir. I am not sucking you, my dear. I am traveling. I will not be home for two days. So I will call you when I return. All right? OK, sir. Traveling. So weird. Hey, I don't care.
Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, I have a very simple question for you. Who are you? Who are you looking for here? Uh, uh, wait, and if it's my yoga? Who gave you the right to come and look for my ogre without proper information or prior notification? And who are you to ask me such a stupid question? <laughs> See, eh? I will ignore the part where you're referring to me as stupid. Now, let me introduce myself to you. I am Boniface, the son of Obed Edom, the chief security officer of this province. And this place is my place of primary assignment. P P A. You're very stupid. <laughs> and I will make sure you are sacked from this house. Really? Okay, now we'll see who is stupid. By the power vested on me by zone nine. Before the count of nine, and I open my eye, you are away from this place. Oh yeah. You know what? I don't even have time for this. One. Two. <laughs> Could you come talk to your gate, man? Five! All right, thank you. Six! Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> Morning, face. Oga? What is going on here? Oh, Oga? She's my guest. Hmm. Sorry, sir. Make sure you're fired. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Eh? Did I hear them well? She said, hi, baby. My girl to say hi. Wait, a full grown man. She's calling him baby. Ah, there's no problem. Oh, what's up with you? What's up with you? No problem. Myself, no problem. Ah, oh. Before any un un unwanted guests will come into this house again. Ah, oh. you are welcome to my house. Oh, wow. You live here alone? Oh, yes. Um, I am alone. Wow. I only have my, my security man, Boniface, and my cook, Theodora, but she's not around. A cook? Yeah, I have a cook. Maybe you will not be needing the services of your cook anymore. Sabella is here and I'm going to cook anything you like. Wow. That's awesome. Have I told you you look more beautiful than in pictures? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm flattered. But that's the truth. <laughs> And you are handsome. I mean, every woman's dream. Hmm. So, could you show me around the house? I will oblige you, babe. Okay, then, let's go. I'm um, sorry, uh, your your back. Okay. Take your left. Oh, okay, my left. Your right. I have not called for us to start arguments and discussions. Good afternoon, Mom. The afternoon cannot be good because holiday period has started. But my son cannot get me grandchildren who will come to my house for holidays. Mom, please don't start. I beg you, don't start this afternoon. Well, I am calling to inform you that I am feeling lonely and I will be coming to your house in two days to spend the holidays. Okay, no problems. Bye. What is it? Is there any problem? My mom, she wants to visit. Oh, that would be nice. I mean, I want to know your mom and I'm sure she'd be happy to meet me too, I guess. My mom, no? She's problematic and um, 
She wouldn't want to see you. You know, that's a very wrong impression to make about your mom. I'm serious. And I see that call put you in a bad mood. Hmm? Come on, let me put you in a better mood. Oh, no. What? I need to get a condom. Why? Why, why are you getting a condom? You don't trust me. Of course I do. Listen, you know, we're just getting to know each other and it is natural that we take some certain precautions. All right? Okay. Just hold on. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Okay. Hey. Wait there. What's up? What's up, my man? <laughs> Collins. Collins, you are my man. Guy, this girl is beautiful, soft on every side. I am telling you, she knows everything. Come on, man. You know I won't take such risk. It's all right. It's fine. I... I'll give you more gist when I come back, all right? But right now, I, I have to get something, okay? Talk to you later. Okay. Hey, what, 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 what is it? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Did you send for me? I didn't send for you. Hey. Yes. But, Oga, sorry. Uh, you know that it is not advisable to let a total stranger in the house alone. Eh? So I, I want to advise that. Uh, no, Oga, you know that Singapore police was even arguing the other day that guests came to his house and stole all. Please shut up and mind your business. Right. Thank you, sir. Get back to your position. Okay, sir. Oh my God, you have really shown me how much you love me to give me a husband to take care of me. Very soon, I will move from my bed to the apartment to a duplex.
Hello, babe. What's up? Babe, guess what? Guess what? Tell me already. Hey! <laughs> this guy is cute. I mean, when you say a guy is cute, oh my goodness. Girl, as I'm talking to you, I'm even staring at this picture on his wall. Ha! Huh? Girl, man, fine. Very fine. Huh? I don't know this guy man fight like this. So you know sometimes when you see all these people on friends gram, you be wondering, is this the same person? This one he even looks better. He looks better in person. <laughs> Bella, handsomeness is not a criteria. What I think you should be saying is, is he worth the risk? Ah, <laughs> babes, I don't find my last bus stop. No more man hunting at all at all. Now my husband be this. Wait, wait, slow down. Just take it easy. Just slow down. You just met this guy. And you're already talking about marriage. Who does that? <laughs> Girl, see, eh, all my eggs, even the future eggs, I've put them inside this basket. And it must hurt you. It must hurt you. It doesn't have even. It doesn't have a choice. Ah, babes, if you see the man's house, <laughs> everything is on point. Even the artworks, the flowers. Hey, babe, as you see me, I'm lounging in my husband's house. So. <laughs> babe, as you see, it's Madame of the house you're talking to. See, the next thing is for me to just get pregnant. No two ways about it. Just get pregnant and hook him with it. Um, Bella, are, are you okay? Is everything okay with you? Uh -uh. How do you expect me to be okay, Andre? If it's you, will you be okay? 30 years, no husband. How do you expect me to be okay now, girl? Okay. It's okay, alright? Do whatever you want to do, but please be careful. You are now talking to Mrs. Isabella Brymo. <laughs> girl, did you see how the name sounds? It's very punched. Mrs. Isabella. Girl, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Be five more. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> hey, sorry, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'll talk to you later. Nonsense, girl. Bye bye. Bella, what is wrong with you? Aha. Time for live video. Oh! Hi, Sabella lovers. Yes, your girl just got engaged. <laughs> yeah, I know you didn't say that properly, but don't worry, I'm going to show you a clearer picture of my engagement ring. But I've got some surprise for you. I want to show you around my new house and my new man, my husband to be to be precise. Yes, 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 yes. Your girl is getting married in no time. Okay, so this is it. This is my new house. This is my new house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're going upstairs and from the room, we're going to be going to the kitchen where I'm going to be making some wonderful cuisine for my husband to be because he needs to know that this girl is every, every woman. Okay. So very soon, this is going to be my house. And I will have my husband and Kate sit down on the dining. And I'll be like, baby, I hope you like the food. Oh, I'm sure you'll like it. You know, I'm a very good cook. Hi, babies. You know, you have to hurry up and eat your food. Oh, you're running late for school. Hmm? Just eat fast, okay? Huh? Kira, eat fast, okay? Um, bunny face. Bunny face. Please make sure you clean those cars, okay? So I can take my babies to school. Hi, baby. Got you. Just eat fast, okay? Oh, that's such a sweet feeling. And then when my kids are gone to school, it's just going to be my husband and I in the house. And I'll be like, baby, did you miss me? Hmm? Haven't you missed me? Hi, baby. Come on, just put your hand on my waist. 
a baby. <laughs> baby, don't worry, just kiss my neck. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, mm. just kiss me. I love you, baby. <laughs> Tell me you, you love, love me you, right? Too. Tell me you love me too, baby. <laughs> you are the best thing that ever happened in my life. And you're the greatest gift to me. I love you so much. I love you more. Why is my husband safe? Huh? Why is he not back? Oh, I'm going crazy, man. Why is he not picking? for a moment that will complete me. Thank God I found you. I'm so grateful to God for bringing us together. And we are head over heels in love with each other. I'll marry you. You will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you too. to come to work today. I forget my charger and my phone is on. I need to charge my phone. Chodera, you left your house down to this place because of common charger. You, you, you couldn't borrow charger from your neighbors. Please, start going, please. You see, Oga said you should not come to work. He will not want to see you in this house. I don't want to get sacked. Oga will not be happy to see me in the house. No, he will be happy to see you in the house. He said you shouldn't come to work. He won't be happy to see you here. Why won't he be happy? Eh? Wait, wait, hey! Eh? Hey, hey! Eh? Hey, hey! Bonnie? Bonnie? So, a guy you style to sack me up, yeah? And you know about this, you know, Tema Hey! I don't know if a guy sacked you or not. The only thing I know is a guy said, don't come to work today. You shouldn't have come to work today. Oh, yeah, please come and be going before a guy will be told. No, 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 no problem. Let me just collect my charge and be told. You can't go inside today. What do you mean by that? Come to work. So you shouldn't have come to work. So I should not shut my phone, Abby. No, 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 you can't. Only don't block me. No, you will put me in trouble alone. if a guy comes in and see you. Oh, no, no, Joker, you can't go inside now. No, you can't go inside. You can't go inside. You can't go inside. Joker, Joker, you can't go inside now. Joker, 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 Who the hell are you? Huh? What are you doing here? 
I should be asking you that. What are you doing here? Oh, 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 oh. So, Olga have already employed a new cook to replace me. I, I beg your pardon? You dare refer to me as a cook? Are you mad? <laughs> me, Theodora, mad. Hey, anyway, I don't have your time. So go around. What did you just say? How dare you? How dare you ask? Who gave you the effrontery to ask if my husband is around? Huh? You know I've been looking for girls like you to teach you a lesson. If you dare come and eat close to my husband, rubbish. I will use you huh? as a scapegoat. Nonsense. Just what the thoughts? Jesus Christ. I think I have time. And who do you think you are? Huh? Who are you? Who do you think you who are? are you? Who do you think you are? I'm talking to you. <laughs> you think you can just make your way into my house and then you are getting out? Is that what you think? Are you mad? Did you just thought you? Yes, me? I thought you. Are you don't. crazy? Are you crazy? Uh, are you oh, okay, yeah. About bring you? it on. Bring it on. Uh, bring it on. Yes, just come. Look, bring it down. Bring it on. Sit down. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. You think I have a damn what? stupid girl? Mad idiot. Let me tell you. Go. God just saved you. If you don't know, God just saved you. Stupid girl, I want to make a very good first impression. This girl is crazy. Jesus. Rubbish. Who is she? So I cannot take my phone, no digging it. Eh? Rubbish. Hey, come, come, come. Who is that girl in Yoga's house? Eh? If there is anything my parents warned me about, just to mind my business. And I was minding my business before you came with your Hey! Father. Bonnie, 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 don't do. Ah! Chief, 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 pull that mouth and say that she's a God's wife. Like how? Since when? I don't understand. Eh, uh -huh. uh -huh now? She told you that. That was what she said, though. Mm. And that is why I'm surprised at her arrogance. Oh, wait, have you collected your charger? Can't you see it? Can't you see the charger? Are you blind? Sorry, not Oh, bitch. We oh, are come and be going now before Oka will fall. Hey, 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 leave me alone. What is it? I should come and be going. I'm telling you what you said inside. Are you all you are concerned about this? Let me be going. Okay, wait. There's one important thing I want to say now. Eh? Do you remember the portion of the Bible that Madame used for devotion before she traveled? Boniface, like, are you right? Are you okay, Boniface? I'm telling you about what you said inside. And you're talking about verses. What has verses got to do with what I, what, what I just said? Your head is filled with mundane things. It is filled with mundane things. See, the portion of the Bible is Matthew chapter 17, verse 9. Hang on, I'm coming. This guy is mad, bro. I'm coming. Let me tell you about it. Bonnie face! Hey, God, this guy is... You are not. I'm talking about... Matthew chapter 17, verse 9. <laughs> Guess it. Guess it. And they came down from the mountain. Jesus commanded them, saying, Tell this vision to no man or to no one until the Son of Man is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Pastor Boniface, hmm? what you are saying now, what has it to do with what we are talking about? Okay. okay. Eh? What's the meaning of this now? In relationship with what we are saying, do what you are seeing here in this house today. Don't speak it to anyone until Oga comes back to his senses. I don't know what is wrong with Oga now. Hey! Hey, don't push me! Sorry. Take it easy, Biko! Pastor Bonnie, rubbish! <sighs> Hello, Bib, where are you? I'm sorry, baby. I'll be there soon. Okay, I'm at the gate already. <sighs> Babe, What's give me your heart to go all the way just to actually get exceeding. Yeah. I am sorry there was a late to traffic. For some personal reasons, I had to go out of the estate to get it. But I have it now. Babe, 
Are you angry? Come on, you, you don't know. have to. I'm not angry, it's just that. Just that word. Okay. Just, just, just. Hold on, let's go to the room. They're not here. I know. Just crazy. Oh. oh. Hand oh. with Kim to find out. Oh, the mess. Easy. Wow. Am I the light? Mm. Of course you are. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I eat this. Come to bed. Ask me. Ask me. Sorry, sir. Go and tell him to prepare some two. Some two. This job is dragging. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry, sir. Ask me. Ask me. Pm, what's the next thing? My zero for you. Are you serious? Yes, the thing we finish inside is your last thing. Producer, did you hear? Um, yeah, you just shot your last thing. Thank God. Um, uh, makeup. Costumia. Scene two. Please give me wipes, okay? Let me clean up. Okay, ma. Yeah, ma, I need water. Where is this place? What? Uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> Excuse me? You don't have to pick. Hey, hold on. Mm, um, I just have to take it away. Why? Come on. Let me take the car, right? Hello? Oh. Hello, babe. Hi, babe. What's up? I am fine, my therapy. I've really missed you. Oh, I've missed you too. But guess what? What? I just spoke to the director like a few hours ago and he told me that the next job has been moved to you next month. What? Yes. Apparently, the guy I'm supposed to film with, the one playing my husband, he traveled and he wouldn't be back until 28th of this month. So, he just moved everything to next month. Wow. Uh, that's good news. So, once I'm done talking to you now, I'll just try and book my flight for tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, how are you coping now? Oh, I've been well, I've been fine. But can never be better. Though, um, mom said she's coming to the house over the weekend. Your mom? Your mom and her troubles. Manage and find a way out. Just for something out. Well, we'll talk later, okay? All right. See you. Love you. Honey, I'm still waiting. I am coming, babe. 
I am coming very soon. to your mind? Nothing. My business is calling. I have to travel tomorrow morning. You see why it's not good to answer phone calls when you're on a mission like this? I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 Why not pick your call? Shh. No distraction. <laughs> So sweet. Mm. You have a very high libido. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect from a man who has been styled for a long time? I know. Mm. I figured you were so carried away that you didn't know when the condom busted. your slain packaging thing. Packaging. With the way you are into this guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave packaging. Seriously. You don't get anybody with packaging help. Mm -hmm. See, if seeing that guy every day will make him put a ring on this finger, I wanted to do it too. Please, eh? Just come and eat. Eat what? I made something. You're looking you're looking old oh, one. Yeah, you haven't had this idea. See, the one I had is enough for me. Hmm? Let's eat food. I don't want food. The only thing I need to do now is to just take a nap. I swear I'm full, very full. Okay. Hmm? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. You are not just do it like this. You yeah, sweet. Man, man. Honestly, I don't like this. How could I have made the mistake of the condom buster? I am not talking about the anxieties I went through lying to my wife. All right, keep quiet. You got carried away. And then that, that was how the city busted. And this is as a result of you not having sex for a very long time. So you blame me now? What if she has infections? Come on, man. Things like this happen. You could easily just go to any pharmacist and get some antibiotics and get rid of it. Come on. Mm-hmm. I, I feel guilty right now. No, bro. Your wife should be the guilty one. Because she's been starving you of sex for a long time. And this is the reason you don't have a child. She values her job more than giving you a baby. I beg your pardon. Look, man. I'm sorry. All right? But you need to calm down. Hmm? I was actually thinking you were going to give me the details on how you enjoyed it on, and the styles you gave her. Come on, man, cheer up. You don't understand this, Carlos. Brother, look. You don't get it. <laughs> you see, these are normal thing for married people. I don't know, I don't, where, where did you grow up? Your feet. These things, <laughs> come on, what are you talking about? My G. Come on, man, drink coffee and let's get out of here. Well, you don't understand.
Aha, bonny face. Baby, <laughs> you're just. Oh, you? You're just so silly. <laughs> Must you do this? Of course, I have Must to. You. Welcome home, darling. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Oh, so good to be back home. Yeah. Mother, welcome. Ah, ah, funny face. I know, right? I know. And um, babe, uh -huh. let me face and Theodora bring you my things. Oh, nice. yeah. Um, Theodora took the weekend off. Oh. Well, she will resume soon. You can handle it, right? Of course, yeah, I can. Handle. I know. All right. All right. So, darling, how was your trip? Uh, it's stressful, you know. Walk, 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 walk. I walk. see. <laughs> but you're back home now. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. This one that Theodore is now around. I hope you prepared something for me. I, I hope you did something special. Don't worry, I'm going to do something for you. And I can't wait to freshen up. Yeah. So here we are. You're welcome. Yes. Oh, ah, come on, darling. You're Baby. looking beautiful. I, I see. Where are my pictures? Where's our pictures? Oh, yes. I, you know, immediately you called me and said you were coming. I had to. Uh, get the whole house cleaned up and I got tired at some point so before I could rearrange it that's it but I'll fix everything I'll fix it it doesn't sound convincing come on babe what are you saying I... where is your wedding band oh my wedding band Remember you called me to come pick you up, so I hurriedly left the house and I forgot to pick. You know, honey, listen, I scrubbed the floor. I mopped everywhere, so I didn't have to have it on. So I Why left is it... why I feel like you're lying? Hey. I am not. Yeah. I, I I needed to take care of everywhere for, for Hey! Mom! Mom, you're here! Mom, I, I, I thought you said you're coming next week. Mom? Well, I changed my mind. I needed to know why this witch is still in your house instead of you to go out there and get me a beautiful young girl that can give me grandchildren. What is she doing here? Uh, Mom, listen. Please. My wife just came back from a long trip. And right now she needs rest. She does not need to be disturbed at all. Please. What else does she know how to do if not to travel around the whole world? She can never have your time. She can never have time to spend with you so that she can give me grandchildren. Just stop, please. Really? Yes. You're asking me to stop? You dare ask me, your mother, to stop? Really, Baimo? Oh, you see? Your decision to marry this girl was the worst mistake you ever made. Because right from the very first day, I saw her with these are two legs. I knew she was trouble. Mom, please, I was... You dare walk out on me? Oh, really? Both of you are going inside? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Perhaps you thought that by the time you walk inside, I will walk outside. But I'm sorry to disappoint you because I have come to stay. I am going nowhere until my son is able to give me grandchildren. Brimo, you must. Get me grandchildren. 
I don't care how or from who you get them. A grandchild is a grandchild. Babe, honey. You know what? I am not going to take this. I came home to rest and not to entertain any form of headache from anyone. Honey, just calm down, all right? Do not let this bother you. You just came back and you need a lot of rest. Please. My son's wealth. Early this morning, you're already searching, looking for what to eat. You this lazy thing. Please, ma. It's too early for this abuse. How dare you? How dare you talk back at me? Do I look like your mate? Do I look like your mate? Anyway, I don't blame you. I blame my son who picked you up from the gutters, cleaned you up and elevated you. And you think you can talk back at me? You think you can talk back at me? Huh? <laughs> Don't try it next time. Rubbish. Who did this to you? What happened? Compound. See, you let me advise you. You better go now before the real owner of the food you are trying to block will step out here to see you. Hence, you are doomed. Oh, yeah. Ah, see my sister. See my sister, Bella. Savela. <laughs> ah, Savela missed you. Yeah. <laughs> come, 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 come. Um, uh, Bunny, bring her box inside, okay? Do, do you live here? Yes, I do. You know you've not come to my house before, that's why you're surprised to come in. Aha! Uh -huh. Babe. Baby. Oh. This is my cousin, Zabella. My husband, Barmo. Hey. Uh, sorry. Good evening. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy she's here. I so, I've missed her so much. Ah! <laughs> and they're just going. We're coming together, we have a lot to talk about. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it's you. You refuse to come. Uh, your house is nice. Thank you, thank you. Ah, it's been a long time. How yeah. many years? You didn't even come to me. Ah, ah. Wow. You have a very nice place. Oh. With beautiful interiors. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Uh, my husband really does have eyes for quality. Really? Yes. Well, I mean, it looks like somewhere I was two days ago. Really? Yeah. I mean, everything looks the same. The center rug. Well, I see um, some creative lovers have been designed. Do you think of Exactly, exactly. I mean, everything just looks the same. More like um, two paintings from two different points of view. <laughs> yeah, even the flower. 
Yeah, I saw exactly. Oh, maybe it's déjà vu, you know. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe déjà vu, right? <laughs> hey, but I told you, my sis, she's so funny. <laughs> ah, you will love her on yeah. Ah, huh. <laughs> no, wow, you have like, a beautiful place. Ah, enough, please, enough of my place. Thank you, thank you. Honey, I'm taking your glory. Thank you. <laughs> ah, no, your home is blessed. Thank your home is you, blessed. thank you. Ah, huh. um, let me quickly check. When I was cooking. Yeah, and then, Uncle, why don't you just show me around the house? Yes, yeah, baby, please. Yeah. Show her. Come on, show me around the house. What are you up to? You get the hell out of my way. Boniface. Boniface of the offspring of Obed. Adam. Is it not obvious that the die is cast? Very soon night will cease from falling, rendering the fowls homeless. Because it is only at dusk that the fowls return to the roast. However, the roast will soon be set ablaze by the fire straying from the Hamatan whirlwind. Madam. Do you know if Theodora has another number? The one I have is switched off. Mm, Madam, there's this one she used to call me with. Uh, let me check for it. it yes, yeah, it is here. Okay, give it to me, please. 080. Okay. Uh, 3851. Don't you drink? Don't drag me like that. Come get your hands off me. What do you think you're doing here? And what does it look like I'm doing? Even not complimenting my sister's ass and, of course, her cheating husband. You better stop this madness. Don't you dare look at me with those duty eyes, because I will put pepper in your lens. You need to leave my house now. Oh, you know, the other day I was in your house, but today I'm in my sister's house. Can you stop being stupid? You, yeah, you know, you really made me look stupid. Do you know that? Lower your voice. Don't you dare tell me what to do. Bloody cheater. It's so funny how Bremo underestimated me. The average social media girl he thinks I am is really savage. Bremo, I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible so that when I leave, you will understand why my name, Zabella, is an oath from a raging storm. Yeah. Have you seen my husband? Uh, maybe he's inside. I've not seen him. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. No, you don't look fine. You look angry and tense. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, the whole thing, <laughs> the long day, and traffic was really tiring. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, I know what you need. You need food. <laughs> <laughs> So why didn't you come in? Thank you. That's that's fine. Babe, babe it's a no move for me. She has to go. Right? She cannot stay with us. Babe, Sabella is my cousin. I do not doubt the relationship. But I don't like her. Babe, that's that's not nice. You can't say that. You barely know her. You've not spent time to know her better. You automatically know you don't like her. That's no fair. She doesn't need to stay here forever before I know if my spirit accepts her or not. She has to go. Fine now. Who is this Mickey Mouse in my house? Then who are you to say this is your house? What a fun dream! Give me a question in my son's house? Sorry, man. Who are you and what are you doing here? Boniface?
Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Your mother just got back and she's already wailing down the house. Honey, listen. We need to try and tolerate. Okay? Let's tolerate that pending when she leaves. She's my mother. Huh? Okay. Well, we'll also tolerate my sister while her stay lasts. Excuse me. You heard me. Please, the food is ready. Just come and eat. Boniface! Boniface! Big madam! Big madam! Big madam! Who is that snitch of a Mickey Mouse sleeping around on my son's privacy? I came back from my morning exercise only to find a second class citizen in my son's house! Yes. Boniface! Big madam! I think it's high time I kept all those riffraffs in their right places. Yes, yes, madam. I am going in now to have my bath. After that, I am going to reset a roster of the do's and the don'ts in this compound. Yes. <laughs> because? Because mm -hmm. I have zero tolerance for nonsense. Very correct, big madam. <laughs> if you need help, let me know. Just as I said, Ukraine needs help to fight Russia as a veggie them. You let me know, madam. Oh, shut up! Yes, ma'am. Do you also want to help me take my bath? Yes, ma'am. Oh, shut up yes, again! Ma. Sorry, ma. Are you stupid? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Oh. How else do you explain abomination? Especially when it is cascading like the torrential rain. <laughs> Want to help me take my bath? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. Mm. Honestly, sis, I'm really going to enjoy my stay here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> um, sis, if you don't mind, I really love to stay for like a month. Sure, babe. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm. Really. Yes, yes, that's mm. as long as you want. Thank you. Not when I am around. All of you are leaving this house. I would soon be getting my son a wife that can take responsibilities and bear him children. Son, can't you see that your wife wants to ruin your life? She calls her family to come and squander your money while she keeps draining her womb with her witchcraft. Mom, can we please eat this food in peace? No, because the psalmist said that your wife shall be like a fruitful grapevine. Emphasis on fruitful within your house, not outside, in the witchcraft coal. Your children shall be like olive trees seated around your table. But right here is your wife, fruitlessly sitting Mom. and eating your money with her sister, I am sure, is also barren. Oh. Please. Please excuse me. You don't walk out on me. Come back here, I'm not done talking to you. Come back here. The truth is always bitter. I know. What were you thinking? Requesting to spend the whole month in my house. This is my boyfriend's house as well as my sister's house. If my boyfriend asks me to leave, I'll go to my sister's. 
You and I know that this game is very risky. Maybe I should explain more. My wife traveled and I... And you got Randy. You've been moving around with STI infested girls, which made you unable to impregnate my sister. Right? Please, Lua. Yes, Nemesis has caught up with you. Your cup is full. Lua, your voice. Don't tell me what to do. Listen. Maybe I, I know this may sound like a lie, but... Apart from you, I have never cheated on my wife. You're very stupid if you think I'm going to believe that. I am not saying it for you to believe me, but... My wife must not hear about this. Please leave my house in peace. Let us pretend like this never happened. Exactly. The same way you've been pretending to be a saint. Now the tables have turned. Listen, just imagine what your wife's reaction is going to be when I tell her you've been sleeping with other girls. Worst of all, her cousin. Imagine it. Don't do anything stupid. You don't tell me what to do, like I said. What I decide to do and what I decide not to do is my prerogative. Let me retreat my mission here. I have come to make sure you take your barren life out of my son's life. Please, Ma, can you stop tormenting me? Your son and I are medically fit. Then why are you not pregnant? Why are you not pregnant for my son? Why do you want the seven jaws ancestry to end with my son because he can't have a child by you? It is not my fault. Children are gifts from God. Where is your own gift? Where is your own gift? Why are you wasting your time here? When you already know you have no oven in your oviduct. You exalted she -mail. God will give us children soon. Your time is up. Because I have come to stay around my son. Why I look for a fertile woman for him. Collins, I regret ever towing your lane. I regret everything. Ramo, shut up and be a man. This is a clusterfuck of an epic proportion. I am caught between the webs of my own act of infidelity. Don't you understand? Stop blaming yourself and think of a solution on how to get out of this web trap that's about to seize your family's happiness. How do I get out of it? Where do I start from? I am meshed up. My mother is somewhere threatening to throw my wife out of my house while my wife's sister is blaming me and threatening to, to, to destroy my life. You see? Freedom and pains lies on the choices we make. Any mistake you made is not your fault. But taking the blame is your sacrosanctific duty. Stop speaking English. My house is on fire. How do I quench it? Anyone who serves you the venison of blackmail obviously wants something. And oftentimes, it's about money. Simply ask her her price, pay her, and when she gets paid, she'll leave your family in peace. Come on, Raimo. I should pay Isabella to leave my marriage. That is the ransom 
for the collateral damage you made to her emotions. Listen to what I said and do it. I can't believe this. I can't believe I have to go through all this just because of a five minutes <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Bremo, you see, life is full of problems. And mankind are expected to be full of solutions. Eh? So when a problem arises, a solution is beckoned upon. Come on, man. Drink up. Let's get out of here. Come on. Collins. Collins. Drink up, man. Let's go. Collins, you're so much on raw food. An unrepentant Casanova. Braimo. I think it's time you toughened up. Be a man. Do as I say, and you will get out of this mess. Do as you say. I should follow your lead. The same lead I followed that put me in this mess. Braimo. I think it's high time you stop playing this blame game and just focus on being... Take over your family. Come on, man. Do you remember I love my wife? Clothes are these. They're for my madam. I just washed them. Take them off. Eh? Take them off right now. I need a son to care for my clothes. What do you mean? I just wash them now. They are wet and your own are dry. Who are you to tell me what to do in my son's house? Now, take these rags out before I lose it on you. Sorry, ma'am. Will you do that very quickly and stop wasting my time? Everything off. Nonsense. Come here. Hold it. Be careful with my fabrics.
careful, they must not touch the ground. Babe, 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 honestly, you need to talk to your mother. You need to. What happened? Can you imagine? She ordered Theodora to take down my wet clothes from the line so she can spread her dry clothes. What is wrong with my mom? I don't care. But honestly, I, I'm fed up. I've really tried now. I've tried, babe. What is all this? Calm down, babe. Okay. I will sort it out. I'll talk to her. Please, you just have to. It's all the same. I know they must have reported me to you. And you are here as a district sheriff. Go ahead. Arrest me without a handcuff. But before then, read me my rights. Mom, what do you intend to achieve making this house unbearable for my wife? I want grandchildren. I want grandchildren, Brimo. Spreading your dry clothes on the line when my wife's wet clothes are in the bucket doesn't make you human. Really? Well, I am in my son's house, enjoying the fruits of my labor. I challenge her. Let her get pregnant. Be delivered of a child she will need to visit when old age comes calling. Mom, this is not fair. You are emotionally punishing my wife. It doesn't make sense. Tell me, my son. Tell me. What kind of a lady do you want me to choose for you? I do not want a second wife. You were never married in the first place. You were only, you only followed her camouflaged lead without knowing she has no womb. Mom, stop this. It's not funny to me anymore. Now listen to me. I know a few ladies out there that can make a good wife and bear children for you. Samantha. Samantha is a beautiful and elegant legal luminary of great repute. She can make a good wife. Oh, Anastasia. Anastasia is a medical practitioner doing so well in her field. I am sure she will make a good wife and bear you children. And peradventure, there is anything medically wrong with you. She would solve it medically. I think I have to end this discussion, Mom. I am not going to choose anybody. Close your catalog. I will choose Cherish again and again. You lied, Primo! You lied! You will never marry that idiot! I will make sure I make this house uncomfortable for her! You are going to marry another wife after all, you're an African man! And this house is too big! Just too big for one woman! 
You are getting another wife. Yes, it's either she stays and gives birth or she leaves. I am so sure that the next wife you are going to bring into this home will have as many children as she wants. Many of them. And I will gladly open my arms to receive them. Bonnie face. I am I am just tired. This woman, uh, August Mother, she's giving me wahala. I'm just so tired of her. How wala is too much these days. Please. Ah, what? Theodora, hmm? understand to mind your business in this house. You, you can see that the house is becoming unbearable for us to dwell in. Listen, the earlier you start minding your business, the better for you. Hence, you will be sacked. You pass through this gate and go to your house. Hey, Bonnie face. This house is my business. And my business is in this house. No. Your business is not this house. I am your business. Eh? You should learn how to understand me and pay attention to my needs and my wants. Yeah, that is what you should be doing. So, leave me, Biko. Leave me. Ah. Why are you acting like this now? It's been wrong spend time together. You see? Hey! <laughs> Bunny face! <laughs> mm, now, leave me, leave me, leave me, leave me. Leave, leave me, Joe. Do you know if Madame is this high? Eh? Do you know if she can, she can hear us? Don't worry, this is how <laughs> Now, ah! You will come. How come now? Promise me you will come. I will come. Just go. <laughs> go now! Ah, <laughs> shut How long am I supposed to tolerate this? Incessant humiliation for my mother-in-law. Hmm. Well, you just have to do whatever it is to keep your home and your man. She wouldn't let me. She wants a child. So? And there is no neutral ground. You have to do whatever it takes, whatever tool it is you need to keep your home and your man. Huh? Don't start feeling this way, okay? And I'm tired. Honestly, I, I am... You don't have to be tired. This is not the time to be tired at all. Huh? You don't. Hmm? <sighs> this room was exactly the room I came into two days ago. Hoping it will be mine forever. But now I am in need consoling another woman in her matrimonial home. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. A payoff. Take it and disappear from my house. Go somewhere, start your life anew. But do not come back here again. Don't patronize me. I will live on my own terms. Sabeli, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, darling. So you both are finally getting along. Oh yeah, he was telling me how you both met. I mean, love at first sight. Be mm, ah. to be exposing me. No, <laughs> ah, I didn't tell her the other one. <laughs> well, it's true. I fell in love with him immediately. I saw him. I told well, you know me now. Shakara, stubble, but <laughs> I knew I loved him. Oh, that's so romantic. Did you also know he was going to be your husband? Um, yes and no, but. Don't tell me to go into details. Oh, that, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. But do you also know that 
Never mind. You know you're not so active on social media, so no, that's, no, no. that's fine. It's just work. Work, work for me. Just for me. Uh, <laughs> is it also work for you, Uncle? No, what's that? <laughs> you're not media. active on social media. Oh, not really. Uh, it's not my thing. Uh, it's yeah. not your thing. <laughs> You know there is this um, trending news on social media about cheating husbands. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You saw that? Uh, uh, you know, social media is full of cloud chasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're not really uh, interested on it trends or any related stories. Yeah. So we're just fine. Yeah, right. because the more you know, the more you get yourself into trouble. Yeah, it's you're not right. worth it. Cheating husbands. <laughs> Okay. When you I'll just I'll be married. Okay. Yeah. Ah, babe. I. I was actually going to see a friend, boy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. I'll see you when I come back. Sure. You won't stay out for too long now. No. No problem. I'll be inside. Miss me much. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I went to your room and you were not there. Oh, well, I had to go outside. I was lonely inside. Behave yourself. Why? I said stop. I have this check. What for? Leave my house. I do not want to ever see you by the time I return. <sighs> well, I'm not stepping an inch. Don't dare me. This is Daily Mabu. She refused to cash the check. Calm down, bro. You see, a problem does not rise without seeking permission from the solution. Where is the solution? What is the solution? I am losing my mind. My peace is not guaranteed in my own house anymore. I know what to do. I have an idea. Which is?
When was that? Ah, ah. Since January. You're not done editing the movie. What was the title again? Okay, I'll just quickly look for it then out. Send you the voiceover. No problem. Now, wow, you know the pickle, eh? Mm. I thought you'd forgotten about me. Forget waiting. I beg you. <laughs> Girl, let me bust your head, though. The young man I went to see two days ago. Your fiance. Fiance waiting. Fiance waiting. The man is married, though. What? Married man. <laughs> how, how, how did you know? I was so shocked. So, so shocked. Guess who he's married to? Who? <laughs> my cousin. Cherish. Cherish my cousin. As I'm talking to you, I'm in the same house I left two days ago. Oh my God. Okay, okay. what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it now? Babes, eh? I'll talk to you later, yeah? This is serious. Call it back. I don't use my channel scroll. I've never used this. So tell me how this got into this room. My matrimonial bedroom. Oh, babe, I can explain. I will not give you the opportunity to lie to me when the truth is glaring. Primo. Primo. You were cheating on me? No. Uh, can we talk about that? Talk about your mother cajoling you into getting another woman and you yielded to it? Just leave my mother out of this. Let's talk about this, okay? I can explain. It's no Don't you to... touch me! Don't touch me, you liar! Babe. Hey. Oh my 
my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. so tense. Please tell me you're not having issues with your husband again. I am so angry and disappointed right now. Sorry, sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, what is the problem? I, I, I found this. Uh, uh, this shouldn't be the problem now. If it's finished, Uncle Bremo will buy another one. I don't use this. I, I've never used the vaginal scrub. So how did it get into my room? Uh, if you don't use this, Men will shame you. If this is not your own, that means your husband brings other women to your house. That is the only explanation to this now. Hmm. Men. Men will shame you. <laughs> Why would Raymond do a thing like this to me? There's only one explanation. He has started to adhere to his mother and advice and pressure. That yes to throw you out and bring in another woman. But sister, mm -mm. you will not allow it. The battle line has been drawn. You will not allow another woman come from nowhere to come and reap what she did not sow. Mm -mm. Your labor will not go in vain at all. Mm -mm. You will not allow it. You will stand Gidimba and possess your position. Mm -hmm. I fear one of fear men. Hey? Hey, hey. Men, don't fear. If you have no fear them, so all this is pretending. Ah, that. Let me show you. Just imagine. It's okay. Yeah? It's okay. Hey! Just imagine. Hmm? And it's this big container. Not even small. Hey! Son, you never told me you had it all planned out. Mom, I am not ready for your condemnation right now. Just let me be. On the contrary, son, I am actually here to celebrate your achievement. I overheard them talk about how you have been cheating on your barren housemate. You overheard who? Oh, 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 don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. I overheard your barren housemate telling the sister about how you have been cheating on her with so many unknown girls. I have actually come to applaud your actions. Bravo, son. Look, her inability to give you a child validates the righteousness of your actions. Now tell me, who is she? Are we expecting a child anytime soon? Is she pregnant already? Mom. Mom, I love my wife and... And... She has that evidence. And the evidence authenticates the fact that her suspicion about your infidelity is true. My only concern... My only concern is... I hope you are not making the same mistake again. I hope you're not bringing in another barren woman. You know what? I want you to bring the girl with me for my scrutiny and approval.
I don't know what is going through your mind. But I know that I love my wife. You disappoint me, son! Oh, you disappoint me! Just, just, just when I thought you, you've got the woman to be a good radiance to this mistake you call marriage. I will not stop until you get back into your senses. I thought you've got a better woman that will give you grandchildren. Why then do you choose to sleep with her with colors? Don't you want children? Come what? Exactly! Exactly my point! Exactly why I am mad at him! This family is lacking children so much that I don't care anymore how a child comes into this house as long as he's my grandchild. And a piece of advice to you, Stira? This is the best time to leave my son alone. Leave him alone. Even the Bible supports divorce in the case of infidelity. And just in case, in case you need a legal attorney to serve your divorce papers, I will gladly oblige you as an intelligent and a good mother-in-law. I am double crossing a man who stabbed my emotions and think he can pay me off. Sabella, please. I beg you in the name of God. I love my wife so much and I wouldn't want anything to happen to my marriage. Just leave my family and life. No, I won't. You killed my fantasized marriage and you made me open up to you on our first date, right? Now you want to dump me like a piece of dirt. No. You won't do that, okay? You even try to pay me off to clean the dirt. You know what, you, I'm going to feed you thorns and ashes. Shall never end. This house is under good fire. Ah! Oh, I can feel it in my spirit. Ah! Lebosa! Hmm. Hmm. Madame is accusing Oga for cheating. And Oga's mother is supporting him simply because Madame does not have a child. Hey, God. Hmm. That's no good, though. It's not fair. Boniface. Hmm? Boniface. This house is turning apart. And from the look of things, is that woman, that woman, because from the moment she entered this house, everything begins to wear wahala up and dear. Ah! Chadra, hmm? what you just said now came out of your mouth. It did not depart from my mouth. I have warned you before. If I've not warned you before, I am warning you now. Eh? Do not use your mouth to put yourself in trouble in this house. They will sack you. <laughs> you will be sacked. I'm just letting you know the happiness. Yes, the recent happiness. But as it seems, you, you, don't, you don't seem to be interested in my story. Cable network so, news. I mind my business. Cable network news. You don't seem to. You don't, you don't, you don't interviewer, news broadcaster. Cable, ne cable network news. Bro, what's up? What happened? I mean, you, you just called me. I, I thought it was very emergency. What happened? So, that is for giving me the wrongest advice that's breaking my home now.
Ah! And that's for taking an advice without the proper discernment. Tell me, what's going on? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. I don't know who planted them. But I think Zabella did. So she found out, she saw everything, and right now, she's mad at me. My home. My marriage is breaking. Listen, man. If you lose everything without losing your own life, then you can still stand again. There's no problem without the solution. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. You all right? Yes. Let's go. Bonnie face. Hoga? Come here. Hoga? What happened there? Hoga? Ha! Ah! Hoga? What thing do you. What happened to your face now, Hoga? You shut up and answer my question. Yes. What happened there? Okay. Hoga? Hmm. It was big, madame. She scattered the entire compound and instructed that nobody should clean it up. That's why it's still like this, Hoga. Get this place cleared. Yes, sir. Mom, what is going on here? This is how your house is expected to be sometimes when you come back. 
Yes, the house is supposed to be scattered by your children. Oh, I'm not ready for all this. You must be ready. You must be ready because I am very much waiting until you give me a grandchild. What is that mark on your face? What happened to you? I thought you weren't going to ask. Oh no. You are still my son. And I care so much about you. Now tell me. What happened to you? Did you get into trouble? Why are your clothes stained? Were you attacked? I have a lot on my head now, please. The psalmist says that as arrows are in the hand of the mighty man, so are the children of his youth. You see, if only you had children, they would have been your backbone to protect you in a time like this. What are you doing here? Hey. I already paid you off. Like I said, my love is not for sale. What's this? I'm two weeks pregnant. <laughs> You're joking, right? Sabella, you, you're joking. Well, look at it. You're joking, right? Do you know what? I'm Hi. just going out now to give your mother the good news. Sabella. Yeah. Sabella. You can come along if you want. Sabella. That. You won't dare tell my mom that you're pregnant for me. Do you understand? I am pregnant. And remember, she needs a child. Why are you bent on destroying my marriage? Don't you dare kiss me like that. What's your problem? about it. so punctured my heart that it bleeds so much. Please cherish. Don't do anything funny. I don't care. I don't. All I want is my own pound of flesh. You see, revenge gives birth to more revenge. Let's take it easy. I need a good sex right now. 
that's the only thing that can keep me calm. If it is sex that you want, then you'll get one. Your wife has left us. What do you want for dinner? Well, I know you're not hungry for food, are you? Oh, would you rather eat apple from my garden? I know you're starved. You're not saying anything. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Okay? Yourself drinking yourself to do this to Paul. Yeah, Lord. Now listen, the pain may leave, but the ailment that you drink or cause may not. Now give it to me. Mom, leave me. Leave me. Where is my wife? That is not important right now. Now drop this glass of drink and let's go inside. Mom, where is my wife? Let me help you. Leave me alone and tell me where my wife is. Let's go inside and please don't get me angry, Brian. Don't get me angry. Drop this drink. Let's go inside. I want to see my wife. Show me where my wife is and I'll give you the call. Keep that your advice to yourself. Oh no, son. I don't want it. Oh no! Your marriage you cherish is coming to an end. Therefore, this is the best time to take a walk. 
Marriage is for better for worse. Till death do us part. Exactly! Exactly my point! Any kind of death. In this context, her womb is dead. She cannot carry a child, so let her go! I love my wife. I love my wife, mom. Do you understand? The pivotal point of marriage is childbearing. Cherish cannot bear a child because she has no eggs in her womb. Therefore, look elsewhere. After all, you're an African man and tradition permits polygamy. Come on, honey. We can sort this out. Leave me alone. I am sorry. I really don't know what came over me. You cheated on me. You caught another woman pregnant and you had to rub all that in my face she will not understand can you please hear me out your mother has already advised you to file for the divorce oh. you can do that honey We can talk about this, okay? I hate you. I hate you so much. You disgust me. A few minutes. Just a few minutes of pleasure has shattered my whole.
I am losing my wife. I am losing my family. Why? I am losing my sanity. Spent two weeks in my house. And it looks like spending two years in hell. It's all my fault. What do I do? But she has refused to listen to me. She does not want to hear me out. Tell her the truth. Acceptance of wrongs starts in Jimmy Tadana or Jimmy Tree and I'm proud of her. As long as Zabela is turned into a big issue, your family will never remember the same. Hold on. He's a perpetual cheat and he lies to you at any provocation. Maybe you should just file for a divorce. I love Primo. All I wanted was for him to apologize and tell me who he cheated on me with. But he could not say so. That's because he's unrepentant and ready to do more. I have made a grievous mistake trying to get my own pound of flesh. What mistake? I'm pregnant. Am I supposed to be happy right now or sad? This puzzle cannot be easily fixed as much as I planned it out. How can you be... Is, is it for Brian Moon? Brian <laughs> Stop sounding as if you cannot control your family. Collins, for some weeks, my wife has been acting strange. She seldom stays at home. But when she's home, she practically speaks to no one. How do I handle that? You know, a friend of mine sent me an article on how to regain a woman's trust, especially when it has to do with cheating. Could you please share? Nope. You have to see this one for yourself. Man. Cannot wait. My family is in shambles. There you go. Just take your time and go through it. I told you. That's it. Why are you, why are you looking so surprised? Were you expecting anything less? 
You know what? I could forward them to your WhatsApp so you can take your time and go to them. What are you doing with my wife? Why? What are you doing with my wife? What are you doing with my wife? What are you doing with my wife? What are my family is tearing apart. I'm losing my marriage. I'm losing Primo. I'm losing the man I fell in love with. I'm losing my home. And now it is obvious that the world is crashing on me. Oh, what am I going to do to salvage the situation? I love my husband so much. What is going on here? What is it? Chimo, what happened to your face? Talk to me now. Talk to me first. What happened to your face? Brian will put the fight with me, saying that I'm, that I'm sleeping with his wife. What? How? Is he mad? How can he say that? Look at your face, oh. You know what? Honey, stand up. Let me help you, oh. Stand up. Ah, ah. He's right more mad. He Just wants to kill my it husband. Easy, take it easy now. Ah. Temperature needs to stabilize. Please, Doctor. I don't want anything to happen to my wife. Please. Well, nothing will happen to her. Bremo. I hope she will not lose the baby. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever hit her? No. Doctor, you know me now. I am not violent. I haven't hit my wife violently before. 
Okay. She will be discharged by tomorrow. Look, all you need to do is to take very good care of her. Sure, she doesn't need to undergo any stress. All right, all right. Tomorrow you. you have your wife. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, please, when you meet the cashier, make sure you clear every debt you owe. That's all right. That's nothing. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank God. Thank God she made it alive. I am beginning to think that this miscarriage your housemate just had is a clear sign that she can never give birth to a child. I am sure. I am so sure she must have sacrificed her womb for her career and stardom. Mom. Mom, you are too civilized to think like this. No matter the level of my civilization, I am beginning to think that there is something fetish about her. Yes. By the way, when are you bringing in the woman that is pregnant for you to perform the duties she has failed to perform in this house. When are you bringing her? Please, I have a precarious situation I am battling with. Can you let me be? You must send Sherich away. Send her away and bring in the fatal woman. That is what you must do. And if you don't, I will do it for you. Send cherish away. Take more. A girl, whatever she calls herself. I hate that so much. So much. See, I would advise you not to allow the terrible character of that girl to change your mood. Oh. Eh? Develop a thick skin for her. Bonnie, she don't understand. Mm -hmm. She don't understand. You need to see the way she orders me around as if she pays my salary. Every time. Theodora, do this. Theodora, mm -hmm. come here. Theodora, this. Theodora, that. I am tired. In fact, eh, I'm going to report her to Madame. Yes, hmm? I will tell her that she visited Oga in her absence. Eh? Eh? Huh? Eh? You want to do that? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's not a problem, oh. You can do it. Of course. But before you do that, eh, you should write your resignation letter and submit it. No, no. Even before you do that, secure a well-paying job. 
Mm-hmm. But he, what do you mean by that? Eh? Come to the room at night. I have a prophecy for Come you. to the room. <laughs> Me, yes. Theodora, yes. come to your room. Then fire again. I have a prophecy. Dude, every time no, somebody no. tells you something, you're talking another thing. Stupid, foolish boy. For that sabi of a girl. Eh? I talk about talk rubbish again. Theodora, this. Theodora, that. Theodora. Every time, Theodora. I'm not raised for her. For bitch. They pay my she, 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 she's paying my salary in this house or something. Nonsense. I heard everything your mother said. And I'm going to tell her that I am the woman who got pregnant for you. Of course, you listen, I'm not going to say that I'm not truly really pregnant, you know. I did everything that I did just to get to you and to make you mine. But since I can't, at least breaking your home would be bad, wouldn't it? Why are you such a devil's incarnate? What did I ever do to you that you want to break my home? Why do you want to destroy me? Your wife slept with your best friend. I mean, your wife defied all sense of moral. What do you, what do you even call that? Enough. Oh, that got to you. Enough. <laughs> Was it painful? That's exactly what I want. That emotional wound. I want you to feel it. And what makes you think that sleeping with your sister's husband justifies all moral rectitude? How can you explain that getting pregnant for your sister's husband is the most pious thing to do. Brimo! Brimo! How did you even get involved with this immoral and shameless family with no good reputation? From you sleeping with your wife's sister to your wife sleeping with your own best friend. What is happening in the house? And what are you doing here, you son of a snake? What do you want here? Brimo, calm down. Get the hell out of my house now! Brimo, calm down. Calm down, I hear you I did not sleep with your wife. That day when she came to my house, it's heaviness of heart. So we found out she was in her weakest state. So we decided to give her some alcohol, you know, just to ease her pain for the moment. And then afterwards, my wife and I drove her home. Love. Love. Love is supposed to be. A confluence of emotions and honesty. Yes, honesty. Honesty. Love is supposed to be all about. Bo? I... I broke 
mine. The marital vow. God. I placed my household on an emotional dilemma. And did. Breaks the edge. He that breaks the edge, the serpent, the serpent shall bite. of what happened that night because I was very drunk just like my husband but I do remember that I was so hurt and disappointed to go to the guest room where I wept all night asking God to console me when I found out that I was pregnant I had mixed feelings because I was hurting from the news of my husband impregnating another woman there was also the news of his mother wanting him to divorce me I never knew my sister was responsible for everything happening to me. Oh. 
home. Maybe I was so hard on you because I desperately needed a grandchild. All the same. I'm sorry. Um, I take the blame for bringing the advice that introduced you to Zabela. Really? Why is no one seeing the part that he played with my emotions? Huh? And made me believe that he was single. Yes, I'm ripe and ready for marriage. And I was desperately searching. And he searched me out on social media. I'm my friend, shut up and leave this house. How dare you? Just take a look at you. You're so shameless. It's your type that breaks innocent home. Now listen up. You're very lucky. You're lucky I've tightened loose end with my husband. If not, I would have used you to show small example to others. Hey, who? Now stand up and leave here. Stand up and get out. Now forget. Get out. Get out. You shameless idiot. How dare you? Get out. You're so shameless. Idiot. Just take a look at her. Shameless in saying we, we should listen to her. Be gone in. Few days ago, you were treating me anyhow as if you owned the world. But now, look at you. Look at you, you're cheerfully moving back to the gutters where you belong. Go. You see, pride and infidelity have a way of destroying families. It was all my fault. If I hadn't cheated on you, all this wouldn't have happened. I'm going to take a huge part of the blame too. Because if I had not given more attention to my career, the devil would not see a means to destroy our home. We can put all this behind us and move ahead as a family. Sorry, my husband. I am sorry, my wife. Let us put everything in the past and reconsolidate our relationship. We can start anew. I love you so much. to my queen and just as your name implies I will cherish you forever I missed you
just like they say, love is not enough. Just like they say, love is not enough. Love is a beautiful thing, but just like they say, love is not enough.